Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share some projects that I made this weekend. I made some cards, and here is the first one. I used a Hero Arts background stamp for the clouds, and it's a vertical stamp, so I just stamped it a whole bunch, and I had this idea that it would kind of, you know, be overlapping in places, and I really like how it turned out. I used a Stampendous Sun stamp up here. I used my new grass border die. Um, and then cut off the bottom. I used my new grass border die from CC Designs. And then this is my new snail stamp from Market Street Stamps. And I paper pieced him. And I think I might go in and do little red on the cheeks. But um, and then I used the Lime Twist Fly a Kite uh, paper collection and paper pieced all his little dots on his shell. And then the sentiments with that set, take it slow. And then on the inside it says, sending sunny thoughts. And so that's that card. And then here is one of my cards that I did with my uh, Market Street stamp, the Bring on the Sun. Or Here Comes the Yeah, I think it's called Here Comes the Sun. And then this Bring on the Sunshine came from the uh, Sunshine uh greeting farm set I just got and then it's blank on the inside but I think it turned out really nice I love that background stamp it is pretty and then here is the same stamp same background stamp but instead of just doing one color I did the lighter color around the outside and then did the uh, darker color so it's kind of almost an ombre effect and then did the hello there and the hello there came from that little snail set too and the inside is blank on that one so I thought those turned out really cute. And then the last thing I made this weekend was a little frame that stands up like this. So I'm going to tilt it so you can see it. I used my new Umbrella Peep. Um, and that's by Bella. Stamping Bella, yeah. Stamping Bella. And then the sentiment is also came with this little peep. It says life isn't about waiting for storms to pass, but it's about learning it's about learning to dance in the rain. And then behind the sentiment and behind the little umbrella, um, I did a an oval nesty and then an oval scallop nesty behind it. Uh the paper collection that I used was the Follow Your Heart collection and it's the blue one. I don't know what its name is, but it's the blue Follow Your Heart collection. And then on the little peep, put her down. On the little peep, I paper pieced her hat and her jacket, and then I colored in her hair and skin and boots with my Zig twin markers. And then I also paper pieced the handle and then used a silver marker for uh, the handle and also the top of the umbrella. I paper pieced the umbrella. And then the little clouds are from that background stamp. And I uh, stamped it, cut fussy cut out the clouds and then colored them with um, my Memento London Fog ink pad and then outlined them in black. If I were to do this again, I would outline the clouds in silver. Like, you know, clouds have a silver lining. And then I used some Recollections Bling on a Roll that had these like little raindrop shaped, in my opinion, they're raindrop shaped little blings along with the swirls coming out of the clouds to resemble rain. And then I used a brad from the collect from that matches the paper collection from uh, the BMA the Follow Your Heart, and then uh, on this side I added more little raindrops and another raindrop swirl and another cloud, and that's it. And, and this is for a friend that just needs some encouragement, and then it sits up like like that. So it would look like this. I'm trying to get to the <laughs> best angle possible. So it would sit like that. I know it's kind of dark. But but that's what it would look like. It turned out really cute. I like it a lot. I My Walmart just now started carrying these double-sided frames in the 
three and a half by two and a half, which is cool because there is no way on like, you know, the ones that are just a single side, there's no way I could have ever had the sentiment and the umbrella on one thing. So that's cool and kind of was more to canvas to work with. So I hope that you enjoyed my projects and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!